This is my new acquisition, an Enterprise number seven coffee grinder. Um, you can see it barely because the being all original, it's nearly worn away. So, but it is a seven there, number seven. And this video is because typically I'll take one of these apart to the point where I can soak these grinding mechanism in hot soapy water to clean out all the coffee that's accumulated over the years. This thing was patented in 1898. As far as I know, the coffee could be 120 years old. Then again, it could be from last year. Either way, I don't want old coffee in my grinder because I will end up using this thing once or twice just to prove that it works. But what happened was, on these larger units, the wheels don't come off like they do on the small ones, which they just typically unscrew. This one here, you can see it has a set screw holding it to the shaft. After taking the set screw loose, I couldn't get the wheels off the shaft. 120 years of being on there, they don't want to come off very easily, and I was afraid to do too much because it's cast iron and you can break these spokes or something. So what I did was fill a laundry tub with hot soapy water with dishwashing liquid and set the whole unit down in there until half of this was covered. Well, when I pulled the unit out, I'm going to show you what happened. If you see the difference in color, the entire part that was submerged changed significantly um, to the point where it almost looked like it was whitewashed. And I thought I had pretty much destroyed my uh, grinder. I even contacted some people about restoring it. After talking to uh, Dave of uh, Dave and Sue's uh, country store and getting some advice, he gave me a product to try, which would have been 3M hand glaze. It's used on cars, and it's more of a paint restorer, even though it goes on like a wax. So after using that, with a little bit of four aught steel wool and lightly um, going over the bad area. I'm showing you here the inside and the out the inside of the wheel. The outside looks just identical to it. And like I said, I thought I had destroyed it until I used this product. And after using it, the top of this wheel, which looked just like the top on the inside, all whitewashed looking and just it made me sick. I mean, I was <laughs> sick. And after using this product and lightly uh, going over it with um, wetting it, wet the steel wool with the product and wiping it on and letting it dry and wiping it off, you can see the wheel is back to where I'm not restoring this because <clears throat> it's just too nice in the original condition. So, um, I'm putting this out there. I still have to do this inside. Um, <clears throat> this side has been done. It still looks white, but I'm going to show you. I basically put a coat of it on there, like almost like car wax. And wiping it off, like car wax, oh, just like car wax, actually. You can see how the original paint is still there and now clean and actually protected with the coating of this stuff. Um, pretty amazing. I'm totally happy with it. Just uh, a little video to let you know that maybe if you buy one of these old things and it needs cleaning, you might want to try this stuff. You can see that inside the throat. and. If you give me one second. Here's the unit in its upright position. All original. And here's the patent date. July 12th of 98. 
And that's because uh, at that point they put this uh, throat choke in to regulate the flow of the coffee. Anyway, there's my story on my number seven. I didn't want to have it restored because it's just too nice the way it is. Now, if they are restored, here's my number nine that I actually bought restored. And that's probably the most incredible thing I've ever seen. This thing is just gorgeous. And the pride of my collection, actually. Let's see if we can get some light on it. So. I could send it out, have the number seven come back looking like this, or keep it all original. And that's what I'm doing, keeping it all original. Thanks.